Right, this is the next part of uh, change in linear exponential function. So we are given uh, tabular values and we need to figure out whether it's linear, exponential or neither. So we know that uh, first we have to make sure that x is increasing by the uh, uh, by the same value and if that happens if we find uh, how the y values are changing. Uh, for example in question number one we can see that all the y values if we take 3 and multiply by 2 we get 6. 6 multiplied by 2, 12, 24, 48. So it's increasing by the same factor as when you multiply by the same number. So when that happens, we have exponential situation. Uh, the next one is x is increasing by the same value where uh, y, I don't think so, it's, uh, uh, you know, increasing by the same factor. If it's not, then for the linear, we have to check the difference. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 5 minus 2 is 3, clearly not the same difference as well. So actually, this will be neither. The next one, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, okay, cool. And then 27, if I, if I divide 27 by 3, I will get a 9. If I get, divide 9 by 3, I get 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 divided by 3 is 1 over 3. So yes, uh, going uh, changing by the same factor, which is 1 over 3. So this is also exponential. And finally, this one. So 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. Yes, increasing by 3. And the difference, 9.5 minus 12 is negative 2.5. Uh, 7 minus 9.5 is negative 2.5, 4.5 minus 7 is negative 2.5, 2 minus 4.5 is negative 2.5. Excellent. So the difference is same. So this is linear function. Right. Um, a small group of rabbits are introduced into the wooden area. The population begins to grow. Da, 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 da. And it is a geometric sequence, right? They follow a geometric sequence where, mon where one month after they are introduced to the area is month one. Now at month three, so the moment they say month three, I will write G3. And G3 is given as 64 because after all, uh, it's a word problem. So these are the values I'm interested in. And six months is 343. So G6 is 343. They are interested in G11. All right, uh, using the formulas, I know that G3 can be written as G1 times R square, and that is equal to 64. And uh, uh, G6 can be written as G1 times R raised to 5, and that is 343. Three. And we know by this time that in geometric sequences, it's always a great idea to divide both of them, right? So if we divide, uh, when I say I'm dividing, I prefer, although it's not a rule, but I prefer to take the R having a higher power on the top. So I'm going to divide this. So G1 R raised to 5 over G1 R square is going to be equal to 343 over 64. G1 and G1 is gone. R raised to 5 over R square is R cube. And this is as it is. So 343 over 64. And if I take a cube root on both the sides, so 343 over 64 cube root is going to be uh, square root, uh, cube root of 343 is 7 and cube root of 64 is 4. So this is R, but we are not interested in R. Uh, we are interested in G11. So I need to plug it in here so that I can get the value of G1. So G1 times R square, which means that 7 over 4 square is 64. So G1 times 7 square is 49. 4 square is 16 is equal to 64. So the value of G1 is uh, if I cross multiply, then it will be 16 multiplied with 64 over 49. All right, excellent. So what is G11? Well, that's not going to be pleasant. So G11 is going to be G1 times R raised to 10. G1 is 16 times 64 over 49 and R raised to 10 will become 7 over 4 uh, raised to 10. I think I'm just going to box this and this is my answer. Uh, over here, we are given that, again, there's a word problem talking about something, shipping. In a certain simulation, the total number of watches the machine could, manu could produce after n hours can be modeled by arithmetic sequence. That's what is important to us. The machine had produced 4306 watches after 2 hours. So I know that A2 is given as 4306. And uh, these many after 7 hours. So A7 is given as 15071. 
and they're asking how many total watches at the end of 12th hour so 812 is something that we need to find so i know that a2 can be written as a1 plus 2 minus 1 times t that's for the formula which is equal to 4306 and a7 can be written as a1 plus 7 minus 1 d which is 15071 in arithmetic we subtract the equation so i'm going to subtract this so when we subtract a1 minus a1 it becomes 0 this is 6d and this is d right so 6d minus d is 5d and this minus this is 10765 and if i divide both sides by 5 i get 2153 that is the value of d um, I'm going to put this value of do back in the bottom equation because that's easier to find a1. So a1 plus d is 4306 and d is 2153. So what is the value of a1 from here? a1 is equal to 2153 again. Uh, they are interested in the value of a12. So a12 is going to be a1 plus 11d which is going to be 2153 plus 11 times 2153 and this is 25836 that is the final answer